proud of the way the, these guys responded um, tonight, our last regular season game at home, and uh, you know the, the the defense and the rebounding that you know, these guys exhibited today was something that you know we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks, and they've really embraced um, you know, taking teams out of what they do really well. And the thing I was most proud of this group is they made some in-game adjustments um, that we really didn't talk about in the scouting report. And uh, we're able to execute you know, without really talking about much of a plan. And credit to Jamal and, and, and Andre and, and Keith and the guys that were able to make those, those adjustments. But one statement was made, you know, we're, we're finished with the regular season. And now it's on to playoff basketball. And I know these guys are excited about the opportunity that's in front of them on Wednesday at 7 o'clock. And we're promised one more game. To give the Colonials back the lead. And nice another spot. drive by Wolford. Uh, this is something I've been trying to add. Uh, I know people are going to close out on me hard. So uh, it just opens up my game even more to keep them guessing if I'm going to drive or if I'm going to shoot, which uh, it opens up a lot, of more, a lot more shots for me, but a lot more shots for guys like Jamal and and Keith to have those driving lanes, so I'm ready to shoot, and if they close out me hard, I'm ready to drive. So just trying to expand a little bit. 13 points for Wolford on that triple. Inside, Wallace rejects. Wallace gets the piece of another one. Yeah, he's been a, a kid that for his career understands the game. He's one of our smartest basketball players, not just the system and understanding the plays, but understanding, I mean, he's the one that came in and threw the high low to Keith, and we had a hard time executing that all game, and he comes in and he's able to execute it. And, you know, it's nice to see him have that success with the lights on, because that's one thing really up until this year he hasn't been able to, to do. We've seen it in practice, but when those lights have come on, for whatever reason, he hasn't been able to perform. And, you know, for a young man to, at the end of his career here at St. Francis to enjoy some success on the court with the lights on and meaningful games, uh, is something that he'll remember, but it's something that I know these guys um, value and, and, and trust his ability to come in and execute when we need him to execute. All right, David Atlanta, guess who that? That was your son, Daniel. It's Jamal. He runs, Euro step, left hand, and scores. I tell you, there's, there's nothing Jamal has done that ever surprises me. I feel like the season's over and it's a new season. This is a whole new season, and honestly, I feel like the season's just begun. This is what we've been preparing for since. July, so it's, it's finally here. March is here, and this is what we've been waiting for. So this is what it all comes down to. I want to give a quick shout out to the crowd, and certainly the support here the last couple of games has been tremendous. And the people in the stands, and I know our guys like it, both the students and the people in the community and our band have been tremendous. And uh, you know, it's exciting to you know, see these guys come out and perform under those those circumstances. But uh, on to the next one. Uh, regular season's behind us. Time to get ready for playoff basketball.